Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. It's summer, it's mid-August, it's very hot, but nevertheless I would like to talk to you today about how to treat cacti in winter. Because cacti during the summertime, all my cacti are outside, they are on the deck, they are in full sun and they are really happy being here. They bloom occasionally. Right now none of them are in bloom, but uh, soon there will be a cactus that will be blooming. This one has uh, flower buds and there are other cacti that have flower buds as well and they will be in bloom and they were in bloom before. Okay, but in order to bloom the cacti uh, they need to go through a, a period of rest. Obviously during winter they cannot stay outside because it's cold and uh, they have to go inside even before winter starts uh, they have to go inside somewhere in the beginning of fall fall brings rainfalls Br fall brings uh, quite humid and cold air and cacti don't like that they don't mind cold when they are in dormancy, but cold and water is something that will make them rot, for sure. That's the best recipe to kill a cactus, to water it when it's cold, okay? So they need to go uh, inside when the temperatures are dropping and uh, when there is a lot of rain. Usually it is in the beginning of October, maybe mid-October. If one is lucky, uh, it might stretch a little bit further uh, to the end of October, but uh, that's very rare. It's safer to put the cacti inside before that. And usually the uh, when there is frost in the forecast, that's when they have to, absolutely have to go inside. When they go inside, they cannot go to room temperature well they can and if they are kept in room temperature during winter time they will survive it but they will not be happy and they will not bloom the following summer so they have to go somewhere where uh, there is cold uh, basement is a good place if it's not heated that's where I put my cacti and when they are in dormancy they don't have to be in light they don't have to they don't need light at all they stop photosynthesizing they stop their metabolism and they just stay there they just rest this is winter rest and they are getting ready for the temperature to rise and then they will be able to bloom so my cacti go to the basement and I put them on the windowsill in the basement because that's the coldest spot. But they don't, as I said, they don't necessarily need light. Uh, people who don't have houses, who don't live in a house with, uh, with a basement, can put their uh, cacti in a fridge, not the freezer, in a fridge, but they have to make sure that the soil uh, in the pot is completely dry. If it was a little bit wet, then uh, it's not a good idea to put them there. But if, it's, if the soil is completely dry, they will be happy to winterize in a fridge and then they will be taken, uh, they will be, uh, taken outside and they will be happy, as happy as, they, as if they were in a, cold, in a cold room, okay? So they spend winter inside, they spend, spend winter in a cold place and they have to be completely dry, not even a drop of water. The watering can start when the temperature rise and when they are taken to the to a higher temperature. Okay? And if you are taking the plants outside, you have to make sure that all the danger of frost is not um, in the forecast anymore because they would they would rot if there is frost and they are water, okay, watered, okay? So they will be taken outside beginning of May, maybe mid-May, when there is no uh, frost in the forecast anymore. And then they will be watered and then they will start growing. But when uh, they are 
being taken outside, one needs to be extra careful. It has to be done gradually. It has to be done gradually because if from the darkness of the basement, they are put directly in the sun, under the sun, this is what happens. This is astrophytomeria stigma, variety nudum. Nudum means naked, which means it's a variety that is not pro doesn't have any spines, but doesn't have also any of the pattern uh, that is on a uh, standard variety, which is which is here. You see, a standard variety is covered with uh, with some waxy waxy. Uh, uh, film and on top of that there are bumps on the uh, on the surface of the cactus like little words might one might say that protect the cactus from uh, from the sun from too much sun from too much light okay so if you take a cactus too early or maybe not too early but without making it a gradual uh, transition from darkness to the sun. This is what happens. This is uh, also, also an astrophytum, astrophy astrophytum ornatum. And uh, a few years ago, this is the evidence that it was taken outside a little bit too quickly, even though it has the protective, the protective uh, bumps on its on its surface. Okay, so <clears throat> one needs to remember about that, and then. The cacti will be happy one more thing which i forgot to tell you about if you keep the cactus inside in high temperature without enough light this is what happens uh, it starts growing but it will be very elongated and it will not look healthy this is what happens when uh, the cactus is growing uh, during winter time when there is not enough light for it to grow Okay, the other thing is that a large cactus can withstand lower temperatures than a small cactus. Okay, so the body of the cactus, the size of the cactus matters too. Okay, so these cacti, the very small ones, will have to be uh, kept further away from the window uh, during winter time so that the temperature is not as extreme on my window sometimes the temperature might reach even zero degrees celsius for a moment not for a long time but uh, during very very cold nights when outside there is minus 15 for example on the windowsill in the basement there might be zero or even minus minus one minus two for a moment for a brief um, moment it is okay but for the small ones it might be too much of a, of a stress okay there is one more thing well there was there, there were there were things that I were, was saying one more thing so there is one more thing uh, not all cacti need to go through the same dormancy this is Melocactus corvispinus for example this one doesn't go through a, a rest period that is as deep as the other cacti so this one stays in an unheated room okay a little bit lower than room temperature probably uh, plus 16 plus 17 plus 15 celsius uh, on the sunny days when the sun uh, hits the windows uh, it might be higher it might be more uh, room temperature like uh, conditions but um, i water it not much i water it a little bit i water it from underneath so it stands on a saucer and i water uh, i put some water into the saucers once in a while and because it's in a clay pot the water from the saucer seeps into the clay and uh, there is some moisture maybe not water but some moisture uh, to the roots that are um, higher than the, than the ones that are in in the very bottom where uh, the water uh, when they where, when they have access to the water on the saucer okay I don't know I think I have not forgotten about anything I think I have told you everything I know uh, about 
winterizing cacti. If I forgot about something, please let me know in the comments. And uh, if I remember about something that I forgot today, I will make another video about that and I will let you know. Okay, so this is it for today. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a great afternoon.